Hi, we meet again. So, if you have been thinking about your applications and if you have checked the admission requirements of graduate programs, you must have noticed that one of the requirements is a letter of recommendation, also called a reference letter and with the acronym LOR. And you must have also noticed how these programs usually simply state your letters of recommendation should come from people who can comment on your academic and professional potential through experience. Too less, is it? No, that isn't really terse. That is a laconic statement. They have given you enough hints on what do they expect in your reference letters. There are two myths related to reference letters. First, people think that the designation of the person is important. Wrong. How well does that person know you? How closely has that person observed you? That is way more important. Remember that this referee must comment through examples on your relevant potential, be it academic, be it research, be it professional. Someone with a very high designation like the dean or the principal or the head of the department or the CEO might not have observed you so closely as your assistant professor or your immediate reporting head. Don't chase designations. Choose someone who can write about you without being told what to write. Second myth. People think that the reference letter must prove that you are superior to the rest. Wrong again. Think about it. Think about the case where the same professor or the same reporting manager writes so many reference letters and in each of them he writes the same text. XYZ is the best student or the best employee I have worked with. Doesn't it sound ridiculous how everyone that's, that this person recommends is the best? The reference letter must clearly focus on the relevant area. Your reporting manager might comment on your personal strengths in a shorter paragraph, but he must dedicate a longer paragraph to your professional expertise. Your professor might dedicate minimal or almost no lines to your extracurricular achievements, but he must highlight your academic performance. It is simple. The person must talk about why he is the one writing the recommendation, not someone else. And if your reference letter is an encomium to yourself, most of the times it is almost banal for the admissions committee. They won't even read it in detail. If all that your LOR does is praise, praise and even more praise. So in short, to someone under whom or with whom you have worked significantly, a professor under whom you pursued a project or research, a supervisor or a trainer under whom you worked or trained. And make sure their reference sounds like they are happy to have known you and not we are blessed to have met this person. Good luck.